YouTube, come out and play. All right, here's the Dark Lord. Forced to do another one of these goddamn spreakers. I heard something else yesterday. Um, it, this Pregnosaurus, whose who name I won't mention. You know what? I'll give you a hint. I won't say the bitch name, but it rhymes with Sansere. Now, this goddamn nigglet made a goddamn live stream saying that Minister Jap is the reason that her relationship with her married alleged baby daddy didn't work out. Really, bitch? Really? Really, bitch? Like, Never mind the fact that the nigga was married. Never mind the fact that, according to him, and even you, your pussy smell like a couple dirty fat niggas fighting over grilled cheese sandwiches out of a toilet. That had nothing to do with why. Your relationship with your married, alleged baby daddy didn't work, bitch. Really, bitch, really? I mean, from the nigga's own mouth. His mama said, and his grandmama said, God damn. Why the fuck does this room smell like that? Even you said that your ass is usually feeling less than fresh. If that's the case, bitch, you might want to check yourself for a motherfucking pulse because you might be dead smelling like that. Like, for real, bitch, like, you still saying this shit that, God damn it, you and your married baby daddy was living in the back of y'all goddamn car, living in paradise until Mr. Jab brought his ass into the mix. Never mind the fact that you got all these goddamn videos talking about this spiritual 20% of your life. Where if he really took his name out and inserted names like Q, daddy or if thus said other goddamn random niggas, it's the exact same relationship. Pull out insert name. So... Bitch, I feel for you. They yeah, goddamn Minister Jap and everybody else who know how much your ass lie. Fucked up your sleeping arrangements in the back of that goddamn truck. Minister Jap, if you listen, shame on you. Shame on you for ruining that bitch's spot. In the back of her merry baby daddy's Ford Explorer. You should be ashamed of yourself. Because it's really fucked up. I mean, how often does a bitch get to be a side bitch? Not very often, because a side bitch is a very prestigious position. Why? Because a side bitch is keeping tension down in marriages so them niggas can go back with their real wives. See what you done did, Jap? You done fucked up this bitch's chance to stay in yet another extended stay. Or maybe it's because you kept going all these different extended stays because, you know, the little Indian man in charge of that shit Got tired of asking you where y'all hiding the goddamn dead body in the motherfucking room because it got to be a dead motherfucker in that smell like that. I mean, it, it can't be this bitch's pussy just 
smelling like somebody done flipped a pig inside out. You know, you, you, you jap you fucking all that shit up for this bitch. So when I heard that shit, I, I just I just couldn't fucking believe it. Like, really, bitch? Like, damn. Jap and Chris and Junk Pile and they done all fucked up this bitch's position as a side bitch. Don't y'all know that side bitches is necessary? Hey, fucking necessary. Especially if you fuck the bitch face to face. Take out in public, treat her like a person. At least till your wife start acting right, then you can go back home. But y'all fuck this up for this. Just out of order X-Files pussy having just, just, just. Beetlejuice pussy having <sighs> God damn We got to do better I mean really I mean Do you know how hard it is to find A nigga who will tolerate A bitch His pussy who smell like goddamn A box of just dead Cats that have been sitting out in the sun all day. Do you know how hard it is to find a bitch like that? So shame on you, chap. Shame on you, Tommy. Shame on you, junk pile, for fucking up this bitch's position in the backseat of that nigga's damn Ford Explorer. Do you know how hard it is to find a bitch who would agree to not only purposely get pregnant by a married nigga, but who will agree to sleep in the back of a goddamn truck with her married boyfriend? And do you know how hard it is for a bitch like her to goddamn find a nigga who not only put up with this bitch's pussy smelling like goddamn 30-year-old expired mayonnaise but you know how fucking hard this shit is? I mean, let's get a bitch some credit. She said the exact same things about all her other boyfriends that she's saying about this nigga. Just pull out and insert name. Okay? Y'all need to stop fucking with this bitch. Now, also, this bitch sitting there still talking about once she dropped that goddamn baby. She is going to be a computer engineer because that's all she know how to do. Well, bitch, we thought all you knew how to do was goddamn lie and post videos on YouTube. So, like I said, this bitch got goddamn superpowers. Y'all sleeping on this bitch. This bitch is going to get her spiritual goddamn career started. Doing goddamn IT. In the fucking bizarro universe. Shame on y'all. So this speaker is not to critique this rickety crickety ass Harry and the Henderson pussy having bitch. No, this is one to educate. We're trying to educate this hoe. Okay. We need to stop bashing this bitch because not every bitch gets to imagine being stalked when she ain't getting stalked and you know remind niggas as to why they don't fuck with you by making videos and sprinkers about niggas who don't even talk about your ass no goddamn mo do you know how fucking stressful that shit is but it's okay bitch i ain't mad at you i'm mad at your goddamn pussy because you did say that some of priest dreadlocks was falling out you need to have a sign on your pussy that says warning known to cause death, cancer, early aging. And the biggest side effect of having stank pussy is to make your married baby daddy run back home to his goddamn wife. So we need to uplift this bitch and stop being judgmental. Now have vision, stay focused and namaste, bitch.